Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tanner with TanManBaseballFan.com and uh, yeah, I hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend. Um, this is the first mail I received uh, since Saturday, of course, just like all of you. And man, I got, it was like Christmas. I got like 11 packages here, so <clears throat> um, I'll go ahead and open them here. My wife uh, busted my scissors uh, with a home project she was working on, so... I'm going to use the box cutters here to, to open up. So let's see what we have here. I have a feeling that some, a lot of these uh, packages here, I'm going to have to eat my words and explain uh, some stuff uh, based upon the rants that I've had for uh, 2016 Tops Archives signature series. Um, so anyways, the first one here is, it is, uh, the, uh, 2016 Panini Flawless, uh, number 25. This is the last one that I needed for the run of both types. Um, it's out of 25, complete with, uh, tape on the top loader. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to say anything about, uh, top loader tape anymore, <laughs> but, uh, anyways, so this is the first one. This is the last one I needed out of the whole run, like I said, so um for there are two there are actually two variations of uh of flawless cards for Conseco. So that was that was pretty cool. I'm glad to have gotten that. I uh, somebody else picked up the one of one for the other variation. But um anyways, okay, so let's see what else we have here. It says please do not bend. Thank you for that. Um Whoever sent this next one, and this next one is, okay, here we go. Okay, so this is a Topps Archives, uh, 2016 Topps Archives, number to 97. Um, it's an 87 Topps uh, signature, so uh, here, here's what I was trying to say about this before. If you've read what I've been writing recently, I wasn't a big fan of uh, Topps uh, releasing another buyback series like this, almost identical to the last one uh, that they had released uh, nine months prior because I, well, and this is a good example here. Uh, I, you know, I, I bought a, uh, one of these numbered out 14 and now all of a sudden they have one that's numbered out 97. I'm a sucker for the 97 tops, or I'm sorry, the 87 tops cards. So I figure I'd go ahead and pick up that one. Um, I'm back on board kind of again with those archive signature series cards, um, but I'm mainly into them only if uh, I don't have the 2015 version. The 87 is um, an exception to my rule that I've made up. So, uh, that's why I picked up the, the 87. But next up. All right, this is another Topps Archives 2016 signature series. Uh, this is number to four. There it is, it's a bazooka. So I don't have that one in the 2015. So I, I kind of treat this as the 2015s and 16s as like series one and two, not necessarily two entirely different things. Um, because, uh, you know, 2015 didn't have that nice bazooka, for instance. So I figured, you know, why not? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab it. So this here. Okay. And this is the 2016 Bunt Gold. It's a five by seven and it's number to 10. So there it is there. Front and back. Here's the difference in sizes between the two. So pretty big. And I, I don't know. I don't know what I think about Tops putting out all these different variations and and everything. But I'm cool with the five by sevens. I, th I think they're kind of neat. Um, I, I wish they were smaller size, of course, because it's kind of difficult to to maintain them and house them. But yeah, whatever. It's a it's a neat little addition, neat little variation. I, I like having different as many runs of the same card as possible. So like a kind of like a rainbow. So I like that. Next up, here's another 2016 Topps Archives. This is a KB Toy Store 
um, and this is number to 10. And I'm a big fan of these uh, grocery store, uh, toy store type of type of issues that they did buybacks for. Um, I think that's uh, that's really cool. It's like, it's like my childhood, and they made they made it a high end type of card. So uh, love those. Up next. is oh i know exactly what this is this is uh somebody had actually contacted me um about this card and this might be the best card in the whole bunch here just make sure i carefully open it here Get this side too. And the top. Okay. Now here it is. This is the 2015 Tops High Tech uh, Galactic Diffractor autograph one of one beautiful beautiful card it's kind of hard to tell in this light here but it uh it's very nice i like that a lot and the funny thing is is uh, uh the person that that broke this uh he had actually uh, sent this over to the wrong tanner so <laughs> i saw this online and uh um somebody uh, said hey uh i just got this card in the mail the problem is is i'm the wrong tanner so he was nice enough to send this to me so Tanner, from one Tanner to another, I, I thank you so much for sending this out promptly um, and not keeping this beauty yourself. Um, there it is. Love it. And this is, this is, in my opinion, the best card in the entire run of the high-tech set because um, just how it looks, number one, it's autograph, number two, and, and also, gosh, you got to love the name, Galactic Diffractor. Uh, whenever I saw that on the checklist... I don't know why, I just thought it was cool. It's like, man, I want that card just because of the name. <laughs> Galactic Diffractor. So, I have it. And um, thank you, Jared, for uh, reaching out to me with it as well, by the way. Uh, Jared is the guy that was the original owner for it. So, um, I have to cut through some more of this here, it looks like. Is. Hey, take a look at this. It is another Tops Archives signature series. This is number two of two. It is 93 Bowman. Very cool card. And let's see here. We have one, two, three, four. We got four to go through. For those of you who are new, if you couldn't tell, I'm a Kinseiko Super Collector, so that's why all the stuff that I get is Kinseiko. If you're looking for Jeter or Griffey, sorry, you've come to the wrong place. Okay. And, hey, look at that. Another Topps Archives Signature Series. This is number two of two as well. 94 Tops. Very cool. I've stayed away from a couple of these... Uh, Top Signature Series low number cards, and I was offered them too, and uh, they're nice. But the problem was, uh, was uh, they were in horrible condition. Take a look at this. Looks like there's a little rip in it. So you see, there's a, a card in there. So we're we're gonna open it up through here. So hopefully I can use it later and just tape it. But I'm concerned that yeah, there's a hole straight through it. So the card was was showing and yeah look at that so this is archives if, if you can't tell um, right there it's a, it says it's a one of one so it's kind of a kind of a scary deal there when it's a one of one card and it was uh, um, the package was ripped like that but so far it looks it looks good so I'm glad about that but Anyway, so yeah, this I think this is his first uh, Tampa Bay Rays uh, Bowman card, if I remember correctly. Let me see. 
or 2000 maybe it wasn't, but either way, still one of one, still an autograph, still beautiful. Love it. Okay. Two more to go. Hey, another another archive signature series. Look at that. This is a higher numbered one. This is numbered to 51. And uh, the thing that's really neat about this is if you take a look, the gold in it, and there are several cards like this also, the gold stamping that they used on these fit real nicely with the original cards called gold foil stamping. So it fits in perfectly. It's very nice. So this is a higher numbered one. Uh, might be one of the highest number ones. So I'm actually, I've got my eye on it on several other high number versions. Um, but I'm just going to wait until the price comes down on some of them because people are in kind of like a feeding frenzy right now with these and they no doubt will go down and value the, the higher number ones. Anyhow. So oops. last but not least, let's see what we have here. Man, this is a great mail day here. All right, last but not least, this is numbered to nine. And this is uh, another tops again, same thing. You have the gold stamping. Looks great. Looks great all, all, all around there. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, hope you all have a great day. And stick around and, and uh, check me out later. I'm going to have another uh, mail day uh, video probably tomorrow or the next day. And, uh, yeah, and remember, my uh, website is tanmanbaseballfan.com. And YouTube channel is is youtube.com forward slash tan man baseball baseball fan. Thanks. Take care.